Well, the militants accused of occupying the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge are in court today. Now, Brent Weisberg has the very latest from the courtroom. A majority of the suspects in this case are all still in custody, but the judge today took the time to point out to each of them and their families and the public for that matter that the presumption of innocence still exists for them up until the point they are convicted. But a handful of the defendants, including Ryan Bundy and Ryan Payne, say being locked up is taken away from that presumption of innocence. Today, all the defendants entered not guilty plea to the one count of conspiracy. We've also learned that the government will likely seek two superseding indictments, meaning that more charges could be filed. That could happen in 90 days. The judge today telling the U.S. Attorney's Office that she doesn't want to see this case delayed and wants to see it get resolved, again referring back to the presumption of innocence for the suspect. She also says that the U.S. Attorney's Office should move more quickly at getting those superseding indictments filed. The U.S. Attorney's Office today calling this case unprecedented because of the number of suspects and evidence. We also learned that tomorrow and Friday, the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge will be open to the defense team and their investigators for a total of 13 hours. The defense teams will be able to take video and pictures of the site. Ammon Bundy wanted to personally address the court today. He also wanted to make arrangements to be transported down to the National Wildlife Refuge so he could help his defense attorneys with that inspection. But the judge sternly told him to sit down. She also denied his request. Reporting at the federal courthouse building in downtown Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News.